So the Google Pixel 2 and Google Pixel 2 XL are fantastic phones. They're really, really fast. They've got the best cameras on any smartphone right now in my experience, and I'm really enjoying using them. But there's a problem, quite a big problem, and that's to do with the screens, and everyone seems to be talking about that. So what's going on? Why is there a problem, and how do we fix it? So why have Google seemingly dropped the ball on this, the displays on their new flagship phones? Well, actually they haven't, not quite at least. Let me explain. So the first issue is that these are not using the same panels. The smaller Pixel 2 is made by HTC, which is using a Samsung AMOLED based panel, whereas the larger Pixel 2 XL is made by LG and it's using one of their own POLED displays, which means between the two of them, Actually, the smaller and cheaper Pixel 2 looks a little bit better. It's a bit brighter, the colors are more vibrant. And that's something that we can't really do an awful lot about because that's just the technology, the hardware of the panels themselves. But the bigger issue, the reason why this looks kind of dull and lifeless is actually because of Android 8 Oreo, the new software which the Pixel 2s run. And that's because Android 8 supports wider color gamuts. So the new Pixel phones are actually running in the sRGB color mode, which is more color accurate, but seemingly less uh, vibrant and less vivid and a little bit duller. So previously on other phones like my Galaxy Note 8 here, which is running Android 7.1, because it hasn't supported the wider color profiles, it's resulted in something called RGB stretching, and therefore it appears more saturated, more vibrant, but less color accurate. But if you put the Galaxy S8 or Note 8 in cinema display mode, which is actually the most color accurate, it's like 100% of the DCI P3 cinema standard, and then match the brightness to the Pixel 2, you'll see that they're actually very similar. So when you put it in basically color accurate mode, it becomes a bit duller, a bit more almost sepia tinted, like the Pixel 2. Now, what does that mean for you and me every day? Well, there is a vivid mode you can enable, but that only ups the saturation by 10%, not really a big deal. And not everyone wants a relatively dull but accurate screen on their phone. So the good news is that Google is bringing out a fix. In Android 8.1, currently in the developer preview, they're adding a new saturated mode, which will make the colors more punchy, make it a lot more vibrant, but at the expense of color accuracy. So you will have the option. But there's a second issue, and that relates to burn-in and pixel retention. A lot of people are finding, because it's based on a OLED panel, some people are seeing ghost-like images lingering on the bottom of the screen, even when you've, say, closed an app. Google have addressed this issue as well. They're saying that they've got a software update on the way, which will fade out the nav bar after a couple of seconds to prevent screen burn-in, or even turn it to white in some settings. And they're also planning to reduce the screen brightness just a little bit more by 50 CDM, which is not ideal actually, because these aren't the brightest phones anyway, uh, to actually help reduce this issue. Either way, these still aren't the best displays on the market, which is a bit of a shame, but at least the two big issues that everyone's talking about, the reasons that maybe putting you off buying a Pixel are being addressed or perhaps aren't even issues at all like the color accuracy mode which you'll eventually be able to change. So hopefully that's made things a little bit clearer now you know what's going on. If you enjoyed the video if that was helpful don't forget to click that like and subscribe button below that I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching guys let me know what you make of the Pixel 2 and the screens in the comments below and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Jab. Thanks for watching.